Assalamu alaikum. Oh, this is the part two of the Darul Madina Museum that we are visiting. So this is a very nice museum and the, there is a whole walking, like a walking through the Sira kind of, they have a uh, system. So I'm just going through that. So please go to my part one and then I guess you can follow through. So this is the part two, the Sira. They're talking about the when Professor Allah before Nabuwa, he was involved in the dispute resolution kind of thing about the moving the black stone during a construction. So remember, this is the Kaaba and this is the House of Parliament. Just keep in mind, this is where the special chief people used to come and Darul Nadwa or something, I guess that's mentioned in the Quran somewhere. So they used to come and this is their House of Parliament, all the chieftains used to come and meet. And this is where Professor Allah declared that he went, he did the mayor, you know, he went to the Mehraj to Masjid Al-Aqsa and all that and they're making fun of him. So this is where the things happen. But this is a kind of like a cheap parliamentarian building and this is the religious thing that they are doing anyhow so they did the construction there was a damage and they, during the construction there's a conflict and professor who's going to move the black stone there was about to be a fight then they decided we are going to let somebody decide whoever comes through that particular door and professor Allah happened to be there and the professor Allah made a come up with a nice sweet idea of using a piece of cloth and everybody from all the tribal representative hold it. That way conflict was avoided. Now let's keep on moving. We are going through the Sira. Okay, and then I guess uh, there is a there is a Hira, Hira where Professor Allah used to go. So I also visited Cave Hira. So if you follow my channel or look through, you'll see what happened when I'm there, like current status and all that. So I try to go to as much as possible to all the historical places. So that's where the Quran was rebuilt, you know, the Yaqra Bismi Rabbi Kallazi Khalaq. So like, I guess there is the picture is trying to show that, you know, the first revelation happened and the things will start to change quickly. So there was an idols around the Kaaba, I mean, like this figure didn't try to do it. Sorry for the light glare, that's the best I can do. Okay. And then the, they used to have an idol and they used to do toab. Some people used to do toab naked and they had all those issues. And look at that parliament building that's not there anymore obviously for they can't now things are much bigger and then so this is the Safa Marwa okay you see this Safa Marwa kind of thing and then okay so they kind of uh, they have idols and then Aqaba actually this uh, so let's just go back you see the Safa Marwa there where people used to run if when you are running actually there is a place uh, where there is a Baitul Aqaba, where the right under the nose of the Kuffar, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to preach about the Islam in the Baitul Aqaba. That's where Umar al became Muslim, like a lot of big people became Muslim and this was the kind of little hideout they had. So Baitul Arkham, sorry, House of Arkham. So and then the, so this is the place and the, so all the idols around the Kaaba, I mean like they're just trying to make a visual. And then, so early, and then like, so the, it became very painful and then the some of the Sahaba, they have to take the boat and go to Abyssinia. So Islam base actually was formed in Africa. Anyhow, so this is a, they, they are still not fully aware of Medina yet. Okay, so before this is before Medina. And then they went to went over there. I guess if you can read Arabic, you can go through those. But uh, we're just uh, taking a bunch of pictures, so I don't miss anything. So I guess this is the Medina. They, they have some kind of old map. Okay, so so they were they were getting tired of. Uh, they tried to go to Abu Talib to stop Prophet Sallallahu That didn't happen. So then they made an agreement and they put the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the, even those who are non-Muslim, those who are supporting Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a, some kind of a sanction, okay, and they were like going through hunger and all that. But that wasn't a popular, it's kind of like, you know, the, all the sanctioning people and the poor, you know, like, you know, making people difficult, but it was very unpopular, but they're trying to force them to give up Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that wasn't working. Then Banu Hashem and all that so it was a year of grief because that uh, famine and hunger the two of my prophets uh, closest person died one is a uh, Khadija another is uh, Abu, uh, uh, Abu Talib died in that hunger and all that 
So what happened? The miracle of Allah, that some people are protesting and they went inside the Kaaba to look at, to rip that agreement up. But when I went there, something miraculous happened. Some kind of termite already ate that agreement. Okay, and the only thing they did not eat is the Bismillah. Okay, and then anyway, so the document and the Taliban, you know, the you see the boycott and that boycott was very heavy on those two prophet lost two of his big support. And then, then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to Taif, I guess we know the story of Taif. You can see I've been through the Taif too, so like make sure you see that video. But now Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to Masjid Al-Aqsa. Okay, so this is the Dome of Rock. This is where the whole elevation happened. But this is not Masjid Al-Aqsa. Masjid Al-Aqsa, I'll to show you. This is the Masjid Al-Aqsa. This used to be, I guess, during that, yeah, Masjid Al-Aqsa is that one. So this is another model of Masjid Al-Aqsa. So this is Masjid Al-Aqsa, the one with the green dome. And um, so the whole thing is Baitul Maqaddas and the whole thing is holy. And right now, okay, so this, this is what the elevation happened. There is a floating rock over here. So one day, inshallah, may Allah free the Palestine so we can go there. And uh, so let's just keep on going. And then, so you see, this is the waiting wall where the Jewish comes and they kind of wait over here. This is where Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tied the Burak. Okay. And this is the place where the ascension happened. This is the heaven. So when he was going up, one of the rock was about to f go up with him. So angel stopped that rock. That rock is, they say, like floating under this dome of rock. That's what they call it, dome of rock. And, um, but uh, Masjid Al-Aqsa is this one. This is where Prophet prayed. Okay, of Temple of Solomon and all that. So this was also made by Ibrahim al -Islam. Anyhow, this is the waiting room where the Jewish people, they go and they rock their head and all that. Okay, so this whole compound is part of the Haram, Masjid Al-Aqsa. This was the, I guess, uh, built by Ibrahim al -Islam and then rebuilt by Suleiman al -Islam. Okay, and then right now, there is a lot of restriction when Muslims want to go and pray. And the Dome of Rock was, was built by the some Mamluk, not Mamluk, the Umayyad Khalafat, somebody did it. I guess Khalifa Abdul Malik, maybe. This is a golden colored dome that you see. And now you see that's Masjid Al-Aqsa, this is the Dome of Rock, this is the whole compound that belonged to the Haram. So now the Muslims start migrating to Medina. So it's sharing those ones, they are doing Hijrah to Medina, Muslims are going. And then um, I guess the Quraysh wasn't happy about it, they know that's going to be a problem. And then the Prophet Wasallam also start going. Okay, and then this is the fig, they are figuring model of they try to kill Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam left Ali Radhanu inside because they would keep all their secret, all their saving to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even they tried to kill him, he was thinking of how to give it back to them. He left Ali Radhanu on home, then he went. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went. I have to keep in track of time, I might make multiple parts. So this is the Kaaba. And the, this is the Thor. I also went to the cave of Thor. So please take a, take a look at those pictures. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this is the spider web and the pigeon made a nest. Okay, so they tried to do that. And then the, so they tried to follow Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They couldn't find, they went over there, but Allah protected. And, and then, oh, how did I get to the camel? This camel is another interesting. So this camel, let's just talk about this camel. This is the camel of called Qaswa. This camel became blind of crying after Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed away. And the camel was in his prime age. When Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed away, he kept on crying and did not stop eating. And after six months, this camel died. Okay, so that's another interesting tidbit that we forget. I did not know I learned something new about this camel. So camel name is Qaswa. This is the one that Allah used to designate the Masjid Nabawi and place where he's going to stay overnight. So let's see. Okay, I guess I'm going to stop over here. Then we'll catch up, catch up later on, inshallah.